Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> we were playing Ring Around the Rosie. Hey, what's up, guys? Sneeze on you here with another episode of Smite. Today we're going to be 1v1ing as Agni. We're going up against an honor, so while we wait, let's take a look at uh, Agni's abilities. We have our one, Noxious Fumes. We have our two, Flame Wave. We have our three, Plat Path of Flames. And we have our ultimate, Rain Fire. Minions have spawned. Now, it's not that common to use Agni in a 1v1 match, but if you really know him and you understand him, he can be really effective against any god. Uh, I recorded uh, a 1v1 match earlier, but it just didn't work out. Uh, I lagged out. My computer just got super hot for some reason. I just decided not to uh, work properly. Ooh, that was close. That was really close. Uh, so we'll finish that off. And we will return. So we have our boots finished. If you look at the bottom left, uh, once you finish your boots, you get 50 magical power. Your middle tower is under attack. I'm not hitting them for more. We have our ultimate right now. Should be able to kill him. No, I don't think we'll be able to kill him. something you, you spawn in you teleport in and you just have a meteor in your face Fuel for the fire. step into the flame <laughs> step into the circle of trust so we'll just keep poking him poking him poking him getting him low So he killed us there. Um, you first slide. So now I have to get the wall of absolution. Uh, he's doing a great job. He's doing a really good job just countering everything I'm doing. Uh, the reason why I'm putting down the noxious fumes is because I get a stun. If Your he steps into the uh, if he's in the noxious fumes and I hit one of my abilities.
so I really have to get out of there quick. I'm gonna back. I know he already used his jump. So I'll do that. We will return. I'm not gonna buy a teleport. I think I can get there in time. Your middle tower is under attack. Beware of the shifting This tower is like weak. Still very weak. Uh, let's see what he's building. Okay, so he's working on Devourer's Gloves. Should be able to finish this off now, so it'll be that much harder to kill. We will return. <clears throat> so I gotta step it up. I have to step it up. So right now we'll be dealing uh, 80 magical power. He's feeling that. He's feeling that. this cheap item right here um, and then we're gonna grab uh, we're gonna grab the uh, Aegis we're gonna return so my confidence went up just that much more uh, really happy I'm happy about that uh, that defensive item I went with uh, it really paid off really paid off so we're both level 10 See how this goes. I'm hitting him with a lot of abilities and he's just taking it. Burn to a crisp, burn to a crisp. So let's take a quick look. Wow. He doesn't have any type of magical uh, protection items, so... And he's able to just defend, sustain against my abilities. That's very interesting. <laughs> I was 
hitting everything. I think I even, I even hit. Oh, come on, come on, meteor. No, I missed with the meteor. I missed with the meteor. Get them, minions. Oh, man. Yeah, I was, I was just spamming everything. <laughs> That's funny. It's so funny and pathetic at the same time. Funny and pathetic at the same time. So he spawned. Both level uh, 12. He's got me though. He's got three kills. much done. Target you because I can. So, what's the deal with that? Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Ah, uh, he just wasted his ultimate. <laughs> How funny is that? How funny is that? Oh man, he just wasted an ultimate trying to kill me. <laughs> uh, but I need to finish off my Aegis to be completely serious mode. I need to finish that off. Uh, so he's gonna go in the jungle. And he's probably gonna get a uh, guess. Which way did he go? Did he go this one? Don't tell me he got that. Did he get that? Beware of the shifting sands. Fuel for the fire. Stay back on her. Basic attacks. You have been slain. <sighs> My minions are just taking a break. So I'm not gonna attack him. What did on her ever do to me? That's what my minions are saying right now. <laughs> oh man, so frustrating. Why is he so OP? He's gonna get Deathbringer. Uh, Gold-wise, we're pretty much even. Hmm. What could I get? What could I get that would tip the scales? 
get this. And then we're gonna... Then we're gonna return to our tower. I'm not too sure if he backed or he's looking for me in the jungle. How did that not reach these <laughs> three enemies? Seconds. Can we get the Phoenix before he respawns? Man, these minions are so weak, man. Minions are so weak. How did he jump through my stun? How did that happen? Turn around and just meet your Man, my me my minions are weak, man. This is just ridiculous. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab the breastplate of valor. Uh, did we respawn? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't respawn already. So minions made it all the way up to the phoenix. So just uh, it's less than half health right now. Uh, his phoenix, and we still have our tower. So. I mean, we're doing good, you know what I mean? Uh, 17, 17 levels. We have all three of our meteors right here. What am I getting caught up for? Guy, man. Oh goodness. Um, so we're going to finish off with the rod. We're going to return. Uh, we're going to sprint forward. Uh, we're going to grab this speed. On her is just so off. Oh. 
goes. And he responds, res respawns. So we have a bunch of minions. We can use that to our advantage. Targets me. His minions target me. But <laughs> oh good. Let's get some fire minions up in here. Oh boy. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. So I'll give him that to deal with. Uh, we'll use some more uh, health and mana potions. have our Aegis. These are the fire minions right here. For the fire. So now he knows I hit hard. Good job right there. Very good job. Keeping me at bay. Go ahead and end this. His respawn time is 35 seconds, I think. So that should give us plenty of time. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. Responded. 
it up just now. That's GG, man. 25 minute game, man. Uh, he played his heart out. I played my heart out. It was a good game, man. That, that deserves a GG. Uh, so let's take a look at his abilities. Um, he he sold he got a starter item and then he sold it and he got the Ronic Shield, which is very smart. You know, I was hitting hard. I was hitting for 425. Uh, he was hitting for 300. Um, I was hitting him really hard. Uh, my second item, my first item was the magical boots to get that that magical power. Then I went with the wall of absolution. Uh, it's very vital, man, to get even if you're ahead, just get uh, protection of whoever enemy. If you're going up against a magical, get magical protection. Physical, same thing. Physical protection. Then I went with something cheap, you know, and I continued on with this path of getting stuff. Uh, cheap stuff that gives me 70 magical power that gives me a hundred magical power that gives me 30 magical power but it gives me the physical protection you know and I stay with that route and then I went with the expensive breastplate of valor but then again it's kind of cheap too but the good thing about breastplate of valor is not only did it give me plus 75 physical protection but it's passive it gave me my abilities 25% uh, uh, cooldown reduction and then I went with a, an expensive item with the Rod of Tehuti, but it pays off, you know. It gave me 125 magical power, but it's passive. It increases magical power by 25%. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, gold category. Uh, I did 2,000 better than him. Player damage, I put a lot of player damage. I put a lot of damage on him, man. Uh, by 10,000. Uh, creep damage, I almost hit 100,000 in creep damage. Damage taken, I only took 18,000 in, in, uh, in damage. Um, so all in all, good game. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Sneeze on you, signing off.